Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got the good stuff, starting with RDNA 3 and Intel going 5 nanometers, a new Vega GPU, Nvidia's CEO teases us with ovens, and a huge leak on the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, everything we've been hearing about TSMC's 5 nanometers looks to be true. In a report by China Times, they seem to have gotten their hands on TSMC's investment plans for their 5 nanometer process. Now, there are some translations online, but it's pretty obvious what this is. For one, when we look at the 2021 to 2022 timeframe, it confirms 5 nanometers on AMD's upcoming Zen 4, but we already knew that. One thing we didn't know for sure is that RDNA 3 is apparently set to be 5 nanometers, which we've so far only seen as advanced node. It also confirms the recent rumors on Nvidia buying up 5 nanometers for their hopper architecture. And lastly, you can see that Intel has plans for 5 nanometers on their XE architecture, which is pretty big because it confirms how serious Intel is at entering the GPU market. Really, all in all, this is a big deal for the future of hardware. Manufacturers are clearly stepping up, which may not be so great for AMD, as they've had a pretty clear process advantage for quite some time. Of course, this is just in GPUs, so Intel could still be on 14 nanometers by then. Hopefully not. Now, while I usually discuss more of the surface level tech and PC hardware, let's go deeper and expand your mind with today's sponsor. Brilliant, the interactive learning experience that helps you master concepts in computer science by actually doing them. This isn't just another online class, Brilliant is all about seeing the concepts. It gives you a framework to understanding math and science instead of just memorizing formulas. And they've got tons of courses from algorithm fundamentals, programming with Python, neural networks, and so much more. Oh, and did I mention daily challenges? So what are you waiting for? Develop your mind by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt and the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up for today, it looks like AMD still isn't done with their Vega architecture as they just announced the new Radeon Pro 7. As you can see, it looks similar to their past Pro designs, but is essentially a Radeon 7 with a few extras. It's built from 7 nanometer Vega 20, comes with 3840 stream processors, and has 16 gigabytes of memory. Its main difference is full double precision support at nearly double the performance. The goal of the card is to compete with Nvidia's RTX 5000, and given their numbers are accurate, it certainly looks to do that, especially with its $1900 price tag. Next up, Nvidia made a giant tease at what's coming tomorrow. In a video titled What's Jensen Been Cooking, Nvidia's CEO is seen pulling a massive mainboard out of an oven. He then says it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we got here is the world's largest graphics card. Yep, the world's largest graphics card, and it mentions that in the description as well. This, along with the recent Ampere tease, all but guarantees NVIDIA is finally announcing their next-gen Ampere architecture at GTC tomorrow. And based on this, it's almost certainly the next AI card built from the GA100, which we know to be a beast given the earlier leaks were accurate. Now, as I've said before, don't expect any gaming GPUs at GTC, but the architectural overview will give us a real idea of what to expect. And make sure to look out for that update tomorrow. I'll likely do a talking head video or something, given we do get some good information. Lastly for today, while we likely won't hear anything on Ampere gaming cards at GTC, we did get another potential leak from the channel Moore's Law is Dead, who recently leaked some information on Ampere. Like before, he has unnamed sources, but he's been right in the past. Just keep that in mind. Either way, let's get to it. In it, he goes over an engineering sample for the GA102, which would be what the 3080 Ti is made from. And first up, he says that it looks like a Turing Founders Edition card, but with three fans. That doesn't really tell us much though, because it's just an engineering sample. One interesting part is that it's on PCI Express 4.0, which definitely has more bandwidth. But of course, gaming cards don't even use all the PCI Express 3.0 yet. As far as actual specs, he's hearing that the GA102 likely comes with 5,376 CUDA cores, with the engineering sample pulling in around 220 to 230 watts. Now, keep in mind that the 3080 Ti may not use all the cores of the GA102, but it likely wouldn't be much less. He also claims that the engineering sample boosts above 2.2 GHz, which is a pretty huge jump over the 2080 Ti. I mean, with this and the added cores, a 3080 Ti will definitely be a powerhouse of a card. 
We're also looking at 18 gigabits per second memory for a total bandwidth of 864 gigabytes per second. When it comes to actual performance, the GE102 would be 40% faster than the 2080 Ti in worst case scenarios, with up to 70% faster in some titles, so that's definitely a nice jump. Like before, he mentions Ampere's ray tracing cores are up to four times faster than Turing's. It's actually said to be such a performance jump that Turing will be left in the dust, which is obviously a sad day for anyone who purchased the 2000 series. Next, he confirmed what we've seen in the past, that NVIDIA's next gen will have ray tracing throughout their entire product stack. He even claims the MX550 would get it, which would definitely be a huge surprise. Lastly, his sources are claiming that we can expect a launch for the gaming GPUs in September, so not too far off. Let's just hope these impressive specs don't come with an equally giant price tag. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for next gen Ampere or are you just upset you already purchased a Turing card? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.